Hello again, guys. Uh, I'm here with a video related to rotational motion, rotation about a fixed axis. And here we have a pulley, uh, a flywheel, in a way, uh, where a rope going around this flywheel and um, attached to a bucket. Let me call this bucket bucket A, so we can refer to it. As you could see, the radius of this pulley or flywheel is two feet, and this uh, guy is rotating at uh, with an angular velocity which is uh, counterclockwise and as a result this uh, load is going to be lifted uh, uh, obviously I'm making this video because of the situation with corona so jokingly uh, I know maybe it's not a good joke but I'm calling this corona uh, videos as it relates to this uh, very uh, uh, bad virus hopefully everything will work out soon anyways so here let let me say that <clears throat> when uh, th this uh, pulley actually is given an angular acceleration so given alpha of this guy to be a function of time let's say it's 2t plus 4 uh, so it's changing with time and the unit is radians per second squared what we want to find actually is velocity of A, acceleration of A, uh, velocity of the bucket, acceleration of the bucket, and the distance traveled by the bucket, which means position, say two seconds after uh, this pulley or flywheel is given, this angular acceleration, the starting from rest, of course, so the initial angular velocity is zero. <clears throat> okay, so let's start with velocity. We know velocity is r omega. This is the vector way of finding velocity, r being obviously two feet. So obviously velocity of this bucket, the, this point, is the same as velocity of the point here, which means that velocity is gonna be like that, r times omega. This is the r, and this is the omega. Question is, what is omega at that time, at t equal to? Since alpha is a function of time, omega is gonna be the integral of alpha. So if we go ahead and integrate 2t plus four, Clearly, we get t squared plus 4t plus a constant of integration, but that constant is zero because initially the angular velocity is zero. So here's our omega as a function of time, t squared plus 4t. If you plug in t equal 2, uh, that becomes 8 plus 4, 12 radians per second. So now I can go ahead and find velocity of the bucket, which is velocity of the rope, which is velocity of this point right here. So that would be r omega, r is the radius of the pulley, two feet times 12 radians per second. Now you see the unit, the way it works is two times 12 is 24. We have feet radians per second, but radian is dimensionless. So that's 20 feet, 24 feet per second. Okay, that was easy. What about acceleration? <clears throat> acceleration of A, in general, if you look at a point on this pulley, acceleration has two components. A normal component, like that, and a tangential component. But that would be a point on the flywheel or the pulley. Now, the acceleration that applies to us is only this acceleration, which happens to be just a tangential acceleration, right? So therefore, acceleration of A is only the tangential component, which is R alpha, as you've seen in your notes and in the uh, narration that I did on that PowerPoint for you. So let's go ahead. And first of all, alpha is gonna be what? Look, alpha t equal two, if you plug in two equal t equal two here, alpha becomes six, six radians per second squared. That's easy. So again, R is two feet. And alpha is 6 radians per second squared. Again, the unit becomes 12. Uh, for So the magnitude is 12 feet per second squared. Again, radian is dimensionless. So that's velocity of A as well as acceleration of A, which remember is just a tangential component. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Uh, uh, what about uh, the distance travel, S sub A? Let me erase this so I can show you what's going on. Now, look guys, 
the uh, if I could figure out how much this guy rotates, right, in what in two seconds, that, and I was what theta is. Isn't S the arc length is the same as the distance traveled by this guy? And what is that S? That S simply is R theta, provided that theta is in radians, which is the case here. So that would be S sub A, S of the bucket, the distance it travels up. So what is theta? Theta would be the integral of omega. So go ahead and integrate omega one more, uh, uh, go through the integration one more time. T squared plus 4T. So theta becomes 1 third T cubed plus 2t squared. Plug in t equal 2 seconds and looks like we get, uh, let's see, 8 third plus another 8. So 10.67 radians. Look at the unit. Therefore, s sub a becomes r times theta. r again is 2 feet uh, and this is 10.67. Remember, radians can have it in degrees. So that comes out to be 21.34 feet. So this guy in two seconds will move up from its initial position 21.34 feet up. As always, thank you for watching and listening. I'll come up shortly with another video uh, to whatever topic is coming up next. Thanks a lot and see you soon.